Hello there. Memes. Memes are very popular in this day and age with the Zoomers. And if you don't know what a Zoomer is, that means that you are a boomer. In which case, okay boomer, I'm officially no longer ill. Round of applause please. It only took me a week to get over what seemed like the plague. However, I am now back to tip top condition. Ready to go, dude. Ready to go. So today I thought I'd use my inside knowledge of the modeling industry to give you some insight onto some modeling memes. I got all of these memes from Beep Model Management, which is an Instagram page. Beep. Watching more experienced models walk before you at a casting. Write that down, write that down. You see, when I first started modeling and I went to Barcelona, you guys may have heard the story already. You can check out a different video if you want to hear it in full. One of the main things, I'm not sure why, but I was like so focused on being able to walk correctly. I thought it was like the most important thing in the whole industry was making sure you had a good walk. I think that was partly because Zoolander like satirized it. Is that the right word? Satirized? The whole walking thing to the max and I thought there was like an essence of truth to that. Which there is a little bit. Basically you just need to not walk like an idiot. So if you can put one foot in front of the other, you look fine. Trust me. Yeah, just go change behind those curtains. I have had to change in the most public of places but it like at this point it doesn't bother me whatsoever it's just part of the job i'd rather just get changed like right here right now than walk off somewhere for 30 seconds like it's just a waste of time do you know what i mean i'm comfortable with my legs and bum just to set the scene this has happened you're in paris you're a tourist you're walking about you're seeing the sights there's the eiffel tower there's um, the Louvre. There's Sacre Coeur. Oh look, there's a big lanky bloke behind that tree with his bum out. Trying to put some trousers on. He's not just got his bum out. And the bum is in underwear. It's not just out, come on. Locals, so who do you model for? Me, trying to explain that you don't model for just one client, but then settling for the most impressive name. Yeah, this one hits close to home. A lot of people that don't know the industry at all, when they find out I model, that is the first question they will ask is, who do you model for? Which kinda is a decent question, because I can list a few things, but people think that it's just one brand. They're like, I'm on a contract with one brand and only one brand. However, that's not really how freelance bonding works. You just work for anyone and everyone. So, there you go. Me looking for a picture to post on Instagram. I go through stages where I've got so much Instagram content stockpiled from like shoots I've done with friends, photographers, campaigns, blah, 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 blah. And then sometimes when I'm just like chilling back in the UK, I'll check my phone and I'm like, uh-oh. I got nothing. I usually try and take like one good Instagram picture a day in general, but sometimes, especially when you're doing the same stuff every day, it's not that interesting and you want to post some like different fruity stuff. And that is the first time I've ever said fruity in a sentence. So, thanks for listening to that. When it's been seven hours and there is no sign of food on set, so once upon a time during Milan Fashion Week, I had to arrive at a fitting at 11 p.m. Which is quite late to arrive at a fitting, but that was the time that they had requested and this is Fashion Week. Time and sleep do not exist. I was at the fitting from 11 p.m. until 4 a.m. So you can imagine what that might have been like. And there was also no food there either and there was no like kind of takeaway options available. So that was quite painful. And to top it all off, the call time for the show was at 6 a.m. Two hours from the time that I just left the fitting. So again, no sleep for me. And one of the hair and makeup crew, when they were getting me ready for the show, commented that I looked quite tired. So, I mean, that couldn't be helped, unfortunately. 
Friends back home, OMG, you have the best life, always traveling and exploring new cities. The good thing about traveling is that it opens doors to lots of other sofas you can sit on and watch Netflix from there, which is one of my favorite things to do. Jokes aside, I'm very thankful for the amount of traveling I've been able to do through modeling, but at the same time, Watching Netflix is pretty good. Me leaving Fashion Week before it even starts because my measurements are too big. This one probably rings truest to me. I used to do a lot of Fashion Weeks back in the day when I was younger and slimmer, but unfortunately, my shoulders have grown, my arms are long. I'm just a, I'm like an adult now, I know, I'm 24, so. You cannot stay a skinny teenager forever, and you need to embrace. Boom! That was bad. So how did you start modeling? One, early life. Two, the first disaster. Three, additional disasters. And number 3.1, public embarrassment. Personally, I've not really had any embarrassing situations in the modeling industry, which is perfect. However, when I first came back from my first fashion week, back to all my friends in Middlesbrough, they did rip into me a bit but also they're a little bit jealous, so in your face. Photographer, I need more anger. Open your mouth and act like you're screaming. Me, one of my very, very first photo shoots, which was in Barcelona, was for a magazine and the whole story of the shoot was they were using a different model for like different emotions. And the emotion I got was anger. So yeah, pretty much this image is exactly what happened. I had no idea what I was doing. I was so nervous. I had this photographer and all this team standing behind the camera and the photographer was like, just act angry like you're, like the enemy football team just scored a goal. And I, I, uh, it, it wasn't good. When you don't have a single decent picture to post on Instagram, so you post a random picture of Kate Moss and say, mood. Well, I think this one is mostly a female model thing. I don't see myself posting images of Kate Moss very often. However, the male equivalent would probably be posting a picture of Johnny Depp and saying, mood. And I have never done that, so... This boy does not live up to stereotypes. When you've been shooting in a dark room with a bright flash for three hours. The fact that I don't need glasses after these years of abuse from the camera flash is a Christmas miracle. For example, I have no issues looking directly into the camera right now. My vision is completely perfect. Three hours is a short amount of time to be doing that. I've done that for up to 12 hours a day for a whole week. I tried to find some more memes, but they were mostly targeted at female models. And of course, I'm not a female model. I am a male. I'm a man. My camera is now telling me I've got 30 seconds of recording time. Well, my camera just lied to me. That was not 30 seconds. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, tell your friends, tell your family. And as always, I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Mate.